my name is Anne Ofosa. I'm from Onicha in Anambra State. I am 38, a single mother of one. Professionally, I'm a geologist. With time, I found that I like working with my hands and then I like crafting. So I'll invariably say now that I am a crafter, <laughs> a proud crafter. So that's what I do now. All this started four years ago when uh, I was having problem in my marriage and I needed things that would take my mind off worries and um, so many other stuff. When I moved, when I left home and I moved and started staying alone, I just basically needed something that, that would just take my mind off worries, something that will keep me occupied, something that that will give me like a sense of belonging. So I delved into into crafting and it gave me that sense of, it gave me peace. When I started, I wasn't really attaching money to what I do. I was only doing them for, for fun. I was just doing them to take my mind off a lot of things. I, to, I give them out as birthday gifts. I just give them out to people to just keep in their offices because I was having so much of it at home and I needed to like take it out. It was becoming so much sitting in my sitting room and also the first one I, I think it was like it was a Christmas kind of um, color. So I gave it out to my madam in the office and when her friend walked in was like Wow, who did this? My mother said, oh, it's Anne. She's the one that did it. The woman was so impressed. I was like, wow, how did you do this? I said, I, 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 just, I just did it. So she was impressed. And when I found out that people started liking and then I post them on Facebook, I get so many likes and people went ahead to share most of those, uh, most of the pictures. I started getting recognitions but i was still giving them out as a gift my young friend said why not attach money to all those things that you do you should stop giving it out to people that's how i started giving it i started selling them people will not ask me ah, how much are you selling this i will not say okay this is give me so 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 amount for it and then voila it started going I am so passionate about turning things that people think they have no value because at a point in my life that was how I was seeing myself. I was seeing myself as someone that that has started losing her value. Then I now looked at myself and said, No, this is not who I am. So I would just like I would just like liking my life to what I do now. Because I've turned myself to what people were expecting me to be into something that is very, very extraordinary. I give life to lifeless, lifeless objects. I make things that are ordinary to look extraordinary. Basically things people just see as, oh, we are done with them. To me, it's a treasure. I pick them, I bring them home, I wash them. Sometimes they talk to me. I may be going and I see something like, ah, ah, pick me up, turn me into something beautiful, take me home. And I take them home. And voila, it turns into beautiful things. I pick knots, I pick bows. My maintenance department, most times they chase me away from their department. Because once I come, I'm always going through their, uh, wherever, whatever they call, where they keep all their bows and knots, and I'm always picking things. You understand? Now that I've graduated to going to mechanic workshops, <laughs> I go there and they'll be like, ah, madam, do you want to work on your car? I say, no, okay, I'm here to see if you people have some metals or some things you people are not using. I said, what do you want to use with them? I said, I have what I want to do with them. Say, okay. They'll just say, okay, go to that corner, pick what you want. And I do them. I may be walking along the street. Basically, when I walk along, especially those places that have hotels, I'm like peeping through their doors bins to see if I can see any bottles. Hence, people have started calling me Mama Bola. <laughs> like, the first time I had 
thing that was like, why is it because they're a junk woman? They said, what are you doing with junks? Everywhere in my house, I have bottles. My neighbors will drink. They don't trash bottles anymore. They say, ah, Mama Olivia, this one will be good for you. I said, fine. Even when I don't need that particular kind of bottle, I will still keep them because I know maybe one day or one time, I may still, I may still need them. I don't have broken jewelries anymore because all my jewelries have gotten into one thing or the other. Anywhere I go, I pick things. Whenever I'm walking, I have this feeling. No, it's fat. It's orgasmic. Like, it gives me this kind of. You understand this kind of feeling? I can't really put it into words, but because I can't explain it, it's. There's this kind of. Peace. Quietness. Like. Some burst of energy. You know, spiral. I don't know how to, but. I can't just say, but you don't know when you, someone says something is orgasmic. You know, there's this burst of feelings, and you know, that's just how I feel. I feel so. I feel. I feel excited anytime I'm walking. I don't like. Uh, I don't like distractions when I'm walking. I like my whole concentration there because since I don't really have that, this is what I want to do. I don't have it in mind that this is what I am going to do when going to do things because as I'm putting, I like. You know, just going there and picking up. This is, I have a form, a shape that I want to work on, but I don't know what I am going to put in there. Is there anything that comes in, goes. So, whenever I'm working, I like having, you know, this kind of quiet peace, you know, no distractions. <music> there was this particular person that was actually following all my works on Facebook. He was going through my life story. He was going through all that I do. And he was impressed with my work. So he now saw. And then got, I think he's a creator or what that does. A, all those uh, shows, uh, exhibitions with Nikon. And then got him involved, introduced me to him. The guy asked me to send him some of my works I did. And he was impressed. And then... That was how they paid for a stand for me. So by uh, hopefully September, October, I should be having my first exhibition at Nikon. <laughs> so I, I just, it's, it's just so overwhelming that something that you never thought will give you recognition all of a sudden is giving you the recognition that you never expected. Basically, since my work is based on junks, I don't have access to all the materials I need. My work is not something I can just say, let me go to market, I will see what I am looking for. It's not like that. My work is what I get that I will use. So I have this kind of limited capacity because there is no enough materials. I always have to go and source and look for it. And then another thing is font, because uh, it's not, I won't say it's really what I call is my business. So I did not have, not set out like this is the capital I'm going to use to do this. So I'm always like putting hand into my salary to remove money, to go and do stuff, you understand? So fonts is basically the second problem that I have. And then putting it out, it's, it's hard. It's only people that have a weird sense of um, creativity. It's rare to find people that 
are so passionate about art. But when you see those ones, they can do anything to have a piece of what you are doing. And they really, really do appreciate, they really appreciate, appreciate them. I want to travel the world, meet other artists, go to classes. I want to learn more about art. I want to like go to an art school so that I can know the basics. I want to, you know, when I see, there is this painting I did that looked like a Picasso kind of work. So I want to study all those things. I want to study all those people. I want to see what makes them famous. I want to know what those things that they were doing that got the attention of people. Tomorrow someday, I want to have my own gallery. So it won't be sitting just in my wall. I want where people can just walk in and like, what? Wow, amazing. I, walk, I want to walk into a home and I'll see my work hanging in people's houses. I want to enter into offices and I'll see Anne's work sitting, you know. I want my work to find a home in every home or in anywhere. I want, you know, when they talk about art, they say, oh, Anne is an artist. I want to be recognized as such. My advice is whatever gives you life, whatever that brings out that vibe in you, that you know you have in you and it gives you immense joy, it gives you, it gives you joy, it gives you peace, don't stop doing it. Even if you are now recognized now keep doing it because i believe that a day will come all those things you are doing someone you may actually think someone is not taking notice because that was what i thought i thought because when i started okay let me just give you the gist when i started people will see my work and someone told me one time that it's looking like a, a juju all those things you see in, in shrines one said that you can use this bottle to cake somebody in fact i was getting a lot of negative uh, remarks you understand people were someone will say ah what is all this one now well of all art this one that you added feather are you going to shrine is it as a more you know they were saying a lot of things but it didn't deter me it didn't stop me for one day i kept doing what i was doing because i know what i want i wasn't listening to that background voice i wasn't listening to them all that matters to me is i am doing that thing that I want, I, I am doing that thing that I love. You understand? And now that it's started gaining ground, it started, I'm started having, I've started having recognition and now I'm like, and how much are you selling? How much is a piece of your work? How much do you sell this? I say, eh, how would you want to buy SM? Oh, you know, the one that said my work is looking like a relic from, from a shrine or all those things. So that's how life is. You can, don't just give up. If you know what your dream is, if you know that this is what you really have passion for, continue doing it. Someday, one day, somebody somewhere will not recognize, ah, ah, this, this person is doing something like this. Let's call her. Let's get her. Mm -hmm.